self-acceptance, how to accept yourself. There are two types of people and self-acceptance means different things for those people. Let's talk about the differences. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and this is my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Today I would like to talk about the inner qualities and acceptance of your inner qualities. So, there are two types of people. Uh, one type, they do not accept their positive qualities. And another type of people, uh, those who do not accept their negative qualities. So, let's talk a little bit in details. What are the difference and how can you know what type of person you are? So, when you're going to finish watching this video, you will know what you will need to do, how you can improve your self-confidence, self-esteem in order to be happy, successful, healthy and fulfilled person. Let's start. First type of people are those who do not accept their positive qualities. So usually when you compliment such person, he will say something like, oh, uh, you should not or this would not be possible without this person. When you compliment him at work, he will say something that it's not only me, it's about my teamwork. A lot of time, a lot of life coaches and psychologists, they do not talk about this type of uh, people, but there are a lot of them. So when you talk to such person, he will say something like, oh, it's not because of me. When you congratulate him, uh, he will say, no, it would not be possible without this, this and this. Or he will say something like, oh, it was just a cool incident or I was just lucky or it was my lucky day. So they will not um, accept the compliment and if they do, they will uh, give thousands of compliments in return. Uh, those people, because they cannot accept their positive qualities, for them it's extremely hard to reach their goals because they do not believe in themselves. They do not ask for a raise at work. They mm, won't be in competition for promotions and a lot of times they will be blaming themselves. So they will say something like, oh, probably it's my fault because I did not do enough of this, this and this. They uh, will play um, like a victim role and all their good qualities, all their achievements, they will put together with somebody else. Okay, let's talk about the second type of people who do not accept negative qualities. A lot of time when you're going to see uh, such person, you will say and you will call him selfish, rude, mean, because when you talk to that person, it's always about him. It's like, I, 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 I did this, even it was the teamwork uh, or he will uh, focus a lot about his qualities, about his effort, what he did and he will never uh, accept any failure, he will never accept any responsibilities if it was a negative outcome. So those people will blame others, they will blame um, government, they will blame uh, economy, they will blame their boss, they will blame uh, the food that they eat, they will blame everyone and everything in order to be above the situation. And the paradox of this that those people they cannot grow. Uh, because they cannot accept their negative qualities, they cannot accept their responsibilities, they cannot admit mistakes, they cannot grow from this. So uh, the person who admits his bad qualities, he can say something like, yes, I did a mistake. This was my lesson and I will do next time better. But if uh, the person cannot accept his bad qualities, then he will say like, no, it's not my mistake. I did everything perfect. It was because of him. So next time the person is not going to try to change his behavior. He will just blame somebody else. So at the result, this person cannot grow, cannot achieve the goals and cannot uh, learn new skills because for him, he's already great, he's already perfect. But in reality, there is uh, something that the person do not accept in himself. And because of that, he's pulling himself down. 
how to recognize what type of person you are. A very, very simple test is to write down your good qualities and your bad qualities. And to try, try to write maybe 10, 15, 20 qualities. Uh, at first it might be easy, but maybe after the third or fifth quality, you will realize that you can write more negative qualities or more positive qualities about yourself. And when you're gonna see those in writing, you will understand how do you see each yourself. If you see only good qualities and maybe one or two bad qualities, then probably you're a second type of person. And if you see a lot of bad qualities or a lot of things that you would like to improve, a lot of things that you would like to learn, then probably you do not see your good qualities. Probably you're ignoring or um, devalue, diminish your good qualities. So uh, this exercise will help you to be more aware, to notice where is your weakness. And when you know your weakness, what you can do, you can grow. You can grow and you can start noticing opposite qualities. If you'd like to learn more about self-acceptance, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence, I have probably more than five videos already about that and I will leave all the links below. Check them out. If you like this video, please click like, uh, comment, uh, share and subscribe so you won't miss new videos. Help me to promote this channel. Help me to create more motivational, educational videos for you. And of course, thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Thank <laughs> you.